David Strickland was born on October 14, 1969, in Glen Cove, Long Island, New York. He later moved to California, where he became an actor, appearing in television roles including Dave's World, Roseanne, Sister, Sister, and Mad About You. He was co-starring with Brooke Shields on the popular NBC show Suddenly Susan at the time of his death. That same weekend, he appeared in the number one movie in the country, Forces of Nature, starring Sandra Bullock and Ben Affleck. It was said Strickland was disappointed at how much his role was trimmed from that movie. David Strickland suffered from bipolar disorder, and news reports of events leading up to Strickland's death suggest that he had stopped taking lithium prescribed to him to control his bipolar disorder. Strickland also had a history of drug and alcohol abuse and was arrested five months before his death for the possession of cocaine and pleaded no contest, receiving three years probation and ordered into drug rehabilitation. He was due in court for a progress report on the day of his death. At this time, he was also engaged to actress Tiffany Amber Theason. There are several versions of events from David Strickland's final night. The facts in this video seem to be the most common, based on news reports and conversations with the motel staff. This video documents where David spent his final hours in Las Vegas and ultimately reveals the motel room in which he sadly ended his life on March 22nd, 1999, at just 29 years of age. All right, here we are at the Oasis Motel, and this is where David Strickland uh, allegedly was walking up the street, came to the front desk, the woman recognized him, uh, or thought she recognized him, asked him if he was a movie star. He told her no. They were talking for a little while, and at that point, she got a room, room number four, and they went into that room um, for about an hour. So we're gonna go to that room first. So here's the front desk where he's gonna came in. And uh, it seems like the, the woman that he was talking to rented the room uh, for the hour. Maybe to talk. So after he left here, he went outside, he went to Glitter Gulch, which is a strip club, and when he left that club, he stopped at a 7-Eleven to buy six packs of beer. And then came back here. Uh, he got a room of his own at that point. It didn't seem like he was planning to stay here. So that he happened to be walking by, met somebody, sort of liked the place. And, uh, or was thinking about possibly ending his life. So he is given room 20, which we're going to right now. And in this room, he stood on a chair, uh, used the bed sheet, and then hung himself after drinking the beer. He was discovered the next morning at 11 a.m. by the maid who uh, opened the door and saw him. So this is the room, room 20. 